just born, so I didn't, uh, I, I can't remember, but I don't think the folks wanted to talk about that too much. Who was a, who was a person that had a penny in his pocket or something, and they, were, they couldn't find his body, but they knew that he had a penny in his pocket? Oh, I don't know. Maybe mom told me about that. She said there was yeah. somebody that was going yeah. to the store or something that had one penny in his pocket. No, but then when I went overseas, too, I, I should write some of that stuff down. <laughs> because, uh, you should write about Normandy. Well, that's what I mean. When, see, when I went into Normandy... Uh, was about a week, uh, about a week after invasion, I walked into Normandy, and, and it was kind of a sad, sad day for when we did that because there was a lot of bodies covered with white sheets in Normandy when I w went in there, and, and then Patton was bringing these tanks over there so we could hardly sleep at night because we we slept in uh, our, our tents anyway. And it was, uh, we couldn't sleep over there. And then, then when uh, later on Patton, uh, it's, you know, we were planning on the, moving just to Normandy and uh, set up for our signal company. But then Patton went so far with his tank unit that uh, that instead of setting up in Normandy, we went way up in the into other side of France before we finally <laughs> set anything up. <laughs> He was a wild and crazy guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but you should have seen... I, I pretty, near, pretty near took off and uh, <laughs> forgot about all that because... Uh, because the officer came to me in Normandy and said that I want you to drive, that we need another driver. Oh, yeah? And... Uh, of course, I couldn't talk to him back. I couldn't talk back to him because he was an officer. So yeah. So he said, "I wanna." Uh, he said, "I'll check on it. I'll let you know." So then he, later on, he checked on it, and he said, "Well, there's I, there's no other driver, so you have to go alone." So then he showed me the vehicle that I was gonna drive. Yeah. And you know, it was a. Right-hand drive. Right-hand drive? Right-hand drive. Uh, what does that mean? German car. Oh, right, where you sit on the right side. Right-hand steering wheel. No, it's not steering. It was on the yeah. other side. Yeah. So here, so I, uh, I asked, or, yeah, first I asked the guy, the officer I said, well, who's going to go with me? Because everybody had a driver and an assistant. Yeah. And he said, I'll check on it. I'll let you know. But he told me, come to me. He said, that we can't get another driver, so you have to drive alone. <laughs> so, yeah, I drove alone. You know, with those little dinky, little dinky lights, headlights. <laughs> lights, yeah. To into France and right through France town and all those uh, narrow streets and I had to follow the car in front of me with those little lights. <laughs> oh, I was I was so disgusted. I was gonna I was gonna go a wall just. <laughs> No, I pretty near did. I pretty near did. <laughs>